most people they don't know what's the origin of what, what is the karate original karate. Probably most people pass by dojo. Probably they don't know what's in the Okinawans. As I'm an Okinawan, see, this uh, I sometimes I, I feel really sad. sad see, but, you know, I try to keep as I am the Okinawan and karate the Okinawan. So I think the responsibility is to popularize Okinawan karate. That's how I feel so. Do you know what karate is? No. Yeah? Okay. Well, what, do you, what do you know about karate? I think it's a kick-ass sport. It's meant to defend yourself. Yes, I do know who karate is. What's it? Martial arts, and fighting, that sort of stuff. for yourself. Yeah, the, I born in 1945, which is uh, the World War II, the finished World War II, finished the uh, 1945, August. But I born the uh, May, which is just before uh, World War II ends, which is uh, more, more like worst times. So when the, the, my mother's the ready to delivery, the, they went to my the parents' house. Then my father, the, the made, the, to boil the waters, then start the smoking. I guess the airplane see the smoke, then start shooting. In the meantime, I born, I delivery, and uh, my father says, as soon as I born, I carry my, my body to run into the, the beach. And my mother is running, breathing all over, and everyone is running to the, into the uh, beach, the, the hiding place. Uh, maybe 150, maybe 200 feet, uh, meters from a house to beach. The father carried me, and the father, and my mother's running. Well, mother said that she was running more fast than my father, so that's why she described me all the time, many times. I really started uh, training when it was a high school time, but uh, junior high, maybe 12 or 13 years old, we start we start training and, and punching, kicking with uh, our friend. But that time, after World War II, World War II you know, Okinawa was so bad, and of course, uh, no money. We didn't have the gear, gears we fixed, uh, made by the, uh, the bed covers. My father was making, that time maybe like two to three dollars a day. She was, he was working the construction, the building the, the house. So two, three dollars a day. If you work, if, I don't care what kind of hard work you do, 
most maybe five dollars a day. So it's not wasn't wasn't that easy. But uh, I start training maybe uh, we start playing around twelve years old. Also we were boxing too. And uh, when at high school time, I start seriously practice that and uh, karate, karate club, and plus the friend of mine invited me to the school he went, dojo. So I started practice over there seriously. So sometimes two, three times a day at training, especially in high school, doing high school. Uh, my sensei, uh, sensei Shima, Masao Shima, he's the first sensei, uh, first uh, student from Sensei Nagamine to open dojos. So more like a, a pri his private school, but uh, no sign. We went over there and training. Then a friend bring friends. Then maybe most student population, maybe 15, I think maybe 15 people, most. Since it's too particular, especially that, I'm sure he was more hard than people I hear from other people, not the dojo sensei. Every time that we go dojo, you cannot talk. Whatever he tell you, just only you have, you have just do it. That's it. So it's completely different than now, uh, today's training and the, back then. <laughs> I came to December 1969, when I was uh, 25. There were a few dojos in, in uh, Los Angeles, but since maybe uh, middle seven or late seven, 70, started the uh, karate camp that's so populous. In the 80, and a few movie, karate movie came, then almost like, Almost a uh, karate dojo, almost every shopping mall. Until 45, I don't want to call myself that, uh, teachers. I was teaching, but uh, I don't want to put myself in, in a teaching position. I was teaching, but still I was training with the students. So then maybe after 45, maybe, maybe after close to 50, I, I realized that I cannot keep going till forever, so I thought, no, I think this is the time to the, tell myself, the sensei, that I try to spend more time teaching. And of course, I'm, of course, I'm cont uh, continuing my training. I tried to train myself, was if I don't, I tried to build up myself, the, the, my the experience. If I don't, at the same time, te teaching experience. If I don't t train myself, what I, what I, what I, I don't know what I teach. But uh, since I can move to the United States, I don't have seniors, I don't have sensei. So nobody tell me to do what to do, how to teach. So I have to try, I have to build up my own experience before I teach the next uh, next generation. So that's why that my my mind is not. I tried to spend my time first. Many people, they learn in karate, but they don't know where they come from. Just, they go just punching, kicking. The Okinawan karate has a lot of meaning behind it. Not, not like a sports karate. It's completely different. Well, I think that Okinawan karate starts to protect yourself, defend yourself, try to live, live by, by live the, to survive yourself. That's where the Okinawan karate came from. See. But uh, Japan karate is completely different. Uh, more like a, when when they start karate over there, almost almost immediately they start to tournaments. So to tournaments, no no no. Backgrounds, no uh, the history, just start from the let's go punching kick, then competition. That's the start. Kar Okina uh, Japanese karate more like uh, to me more like a uh, grow by popular popular by, by the, the doing the tournaments, do tournaments. 
Putin change, and then another tournament, Putin change. So, no, Qatar is always changing, still changing. See. So, in other words, Karate try to make the easy way to judge, easy way to make, the, to make people to, I guess, the excite. So, small, many small movements you have to take, take away. See. This happened, uh, sports karate between the Okinawa Karate different. If you can separate what oh, this is a sports karate, or oh, this is a original karate behind, uh, original karate history behind, uh, culture behind, if you can separate, and I don't mind, see, but most people, they don't know what's the original, what, what is the karate, original karate. So this person, to me, I feel personally, I really sad to me, see. But the most of them, today's karate is the most popular, popular the sports karate. Most people, they don't know even the karate where it comes from. Okay, kids, today we're going to learn about the word karate. Ah, gee whiz, Mr. McDaniels, do we have to? But I don't want to learn Chinese, Mr. McDaniels. I'm not even Chinese. <laughs> Thank you, Charlie. Now, many of you may have heard the word karate applied to many different types of martial arts. But, um, Mr. McDaniels, isn't kung fu and karate basically the same thing? <laughs> My dear Miss Charlotte, do I look like a fool to you? But, Mr. McDaniels, you don't mean to say that you can actually tell the difference between the two. I mean, it's common knowledge that all Orientals look the same, don't you think so? <laughs> Thank you, Charlie. As I was saying... <laughs> Karate was developed as a martial art by the people of Okinawa. According to Sensei Shoshin Nagamine's book, The Essence of Karate Do, originally published in 1976, the Okinawan martial art of self-defense used to be called either tote, meaning Chinese hands, or karate, meaning empty hands. In the 1930s, karate men insisted that there must be a consensus on what to name this art of self-defense. At a meeting in 1936, several Okinawan karate masters agreed that the art should be called Ka-Ra-Te, meaning an empty-handed self-defense art or weaponless art of self-defense. Make a clap to this. Yeah, this dojo, this location of five years old. Oh, this is uh, 50 years, almost five years. But this is uh, my first dojo after retires, which is uh, this is uh, my full time. Uh, six day, Monday through Friday and Saturday, mo Saturday. So and plus the uh, seminar, once a month at least. Well, I hope that uh, I hope that I can keep that. The healthy and healthy another 10, 15, 20 more years, and I hope that I can bring more black belts. I hope that black belts, I hope they have the chance to move their own way to teach or dojo or whatever. So, no, um, this dojo is not for the only for the to, to last last dojo. I hope that this dojo for for ne next generation. Now it's um, the 65 in the next uh, couple of weeks. But uh, if long as I can keep going, training where I am now, I'm sure another five years, no problem. So mentally, I'm not a uh, few another 10 more years, but physically, I don't know how, how, uh, how, how much I go, how many more years I can go. But as uh, long as I can walk, I want to continue. Karate is not, not only punch and kick. It's a very important to meet people. I think it's a very important place to meet the people with and dojos. So I try to tell people that my students. In the dojo, in the floor, we everybody equals, but you never know who's gonna be here, who 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 no, who's in the, in the class. So I try to tell, and especially the young the young kids. Try to talk as much as you can for the oldest people in the, in the dojo. That way you can get more information, possibly help you for your, change your whole your life. So 
karate you know, changed my life. But I met many, uh, many pr peoples, many places, many locations, and different places. So I hope that all my uh, students, they had the opportunity to meet other uh, peoples in a dojo. Much as they helped me, that I hope they can help for them too.